A slave is a person who is a legal property of another and is forced to obey them. There are millions of slaves today. Modern slavery is just a generalized term for the many things such as forced labor, domestic servitude, and sex trafficking. A human is to be considered a slave if they are forced to work through mental or physical threats, if they are owned or controlled by an employer through mental or physical abuse or threats of abuse, if they are brought and sold as property or have restrictions placed on their freedom of movement. Slavery is a journey in which millions are forced to walk. It is a path with several falls and scratches, a path which is lonely and painful. Slavery is founded in the selfishness of man's nature. Opposition to it is love of justice. Abraham Lincoln. It happens every day in every region of the world of this place we so call Earth. It happens in some of the places we least expect it to. Modern slavery may even be happening in our next door neighbor's backyard, right here in Georgia. Modern slavery is one of the fastest growing industries in the world today. The International Labor Organization estimates a total of 40 million slaves on any given day in 2016. If slavery were a country, it would be the 35th largest country in the world. Global slavery is only growing, not shrinking. Modern slavery is made up of six categories, domestic servitude, sex trafficking, forced labor, bonded labor, child labor, and forced marriage. Forced labor is when people are forced to do work through the use of violence or threats. According to the ILO, the International Labor Organization, there are 24.9 million victims of forced labor. This is more than the population of London, New York, and New Mexico combined. This labor usually consists of farming, ranching, logging, mining, fishing, and brick making. It also consists of service industries such as working as dishwashers, janitors, gardeners, and maids who are being forced to do so. Domestic servitude is a special category of labor trafficking. It is mostly women and girls who fall under this category. They make up 71% of modern day slavery victims. Essentially, these people are dragged into being servants for their traffickers. When you see this slavery, you may just think they're just doing their ordinary jobs. But in reality, they're being forced to do it, usually by threats of violence. They're usually forced to wash the ditches, cook their trafficker meals, clean them houses, and follow orders since they are usually unable to leave the house. A 23-year-old woman, Beatrice Fernando, was trapped into domestic servitude. She said, My chores seemed unending. According to Beatrice, she was forced to wash the windows, walls, and bathrooms. She also had to shake through carpets, polish floors, and clean furniture. She reported working over 20 hours every day. They wouldn't feed her so she would scatter through the trash to find food. Her owner locked the telephone so she was unable to contact any agencies. She also couldn't flee the apartment because the doors were always locked. She claims to be slapped by her owner on the cheeks. She also says she would grasp her by the hair and bang her head into the wall as she throws her to the floor. Her owner would kick her and hit her with a broom. If she fought back, she would be killed, so she had to bear with the pain every single day until she managed to escape. Sex trafficking occurs when someone uses force, fraud, or coercion to cause a commercial sex act with an adult or causes a minor to commit a commercial sex act. Traffickers tend to find victims mostly through social network, home neighborhood, clubs, bars, internet, and school. They lure them with the promises of a good protection, a great home, love, and great opportunities. They like to look for women between the ages of 14 through 16 years old to traffic. Approximately 2 million children are exploited every year in the global sex trade. A victim of sex trafficking, Shamir McKenzie, says whenever she tried to leave, her trafficker punched her in the face, kicked her, and even threatened to kill her family if she left. She quoted, From the very first beating when I was choked to the point of unconsciousness until the day he pulled the trigger on the miraculously unloaded gun in my mouth, 
I knew obedience meant survival. When he placed a gun in my mouth and asked me if I wanted to die, I shrugged. I thought, finally this pain of this life would be over, and the only one hurt is the one who was responsible for me being in this situation. The trigger was pulled, but I was still alive. For a few moments I thought, I was experiencing death with the ability to still see life, until I felt the blows to my head by the gun. This is the story of one out of millions. Sex trafficking is a global issue affecting thousands of innocent women each day. Modern slavery is ruining millions of lives. Modern slavery happens to men, women, adults, and children of all ages who are trapped into this life of exploitation. Traffickers tend to lure their victims through promises of a better life. They use several methods to lure in their victims. The lover boy method is one of them. It is when the trafficker invests time in a relationship with the victim to break down barriers. The trafficker gains the victim's trust and takes control over their life and then forces them into slavery. Another method often used is recruitment for false jobs. They create fake job advertisements, often with opportunities too good to be true. Victims fall for this job and become slaves to the traffickers. They may take your passport or any form of documentation of your identity. Contemporary slavery, too small for a thing. In the past five years, 89 million people experienced some form of slavery. Almost half of these slaves are found in India. These numbers of slaves are greater today than in any other time in history. According to the ILO, one out of every 1,000 people are victims of modern slavery. Many people are not aware of how big slavery actually is. Modern day slavery is an issue far from its end. There is still a lot of work to be done until its abolishment.